the nature of international law, naturalism and positivism. Since the 17th century, two main theories have tried to understand the nature of international law. On the one hand, there was the naturalist school, represented by Samuel Pufendorf, who tried to identify international law completely with the law of nature. And on the other hand, there were the supporters of positivism, who separated between international law and natural law, and emphasized practical problems and current state practices. Naturalism had been the dominant approach in international law, between the 17th and the 19th century, it relied on church laws and the teachings of St. Thomas Aquinas, by addressing the question of the nature of international law, by pointing to a set of rules that are of universal and objective scope, as they emerge from global and superior values and principles that are eternal to humanity. Such values and principles dictate the limits of the legal system and the free will of the sovereign state, and they could be found in canon law or to universally accepted moral values. Among the advocates of naturalism are famous international lawyers, like Francisco de Vitoria, Hugo Grotius, Christian Wolff, Emmerich de Vittel, and Georges Sell. Naturalism is reflected principally through the notion of human rights, or the idea that some fundamental rights, such as the prohibition of torture, or slavery, and the right to liberty and security, are universal and therefore cannot be ignored. However, naturalism is open to critique, as it blurs the lines between law and morality, and thus fails to separate international law from political theory or ideology.